Today, I will focus on upper body. So I will start with push-ups. I will start with, what is it, 40 push-ups. I will do decline push-ups first. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The sun is starting to show itself, finally. Some vitamin D. And you know, you gotta remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You try perfect form, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do short bursts. You can do, you know, slower push-ups. I do both, and I do it naturally. Sometimes it's slower, sometimes it's a burst. So because you know the muscle fibers are different you have these fast you have the slow runs so you work all the muscle fibers not just one type you know but you don't don't have to worry too much about that stuff you just the more important thing is consistency always doing this especially in the beginning if you're a beginner you have to have the mentality of training every single day otherwise it will be very hard for you if you're a natural well we only like naturals here only natural everything is natural our food is natural everything our our movements are natural our movements are natural we like everything natural right as you might know by now i do four variations of these push-ups i do four variations of everything now except the legs i notice that i don't need much on legs but you can do four variations of legs as well. In the summer, I do four. I'll do some running uphill, perhaps a second thing, maybe jumping a little bit, something like that. I won't do hit today. I either do running uphill or hit, uh, running as fast as I can for three sets, basically, and you know, trying to break my records, personal records, all the time. So I, I always know what I'm doing, but. You know, it's not always set in stone. I leave a little bit of room for creativity, you know. So it is flexible because we, we should be ready for everything. We should be ready for everything. We're ready for everything. I can jump up these, you know, everything, all these trees and I can jump up everything, you know. I can jump on everything, balance, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna continue now with decline push-ups and then I will do incline push-ups these incline push-ups I'm going to do now they help with the smaller muscles you know in the upper body so you know as I said yesterday the smaller parts help the bigger parts you got to train everything and so you know this is basically full body you know you, you still use there is some tension in your legs as well so calisthenics is almost always you know full body so uh, so you always get something but and these incline it doesn't look much but they can be pretty hard to do and especially you know if I start with diamond push-ups if I start with the harder I can do a lot of those harder but then you know I can do maybe 40 or 50 well it's 40 40 diamond push-ups it is 50 or 60 if I push myself but I save a little bit for each set I don't push everything I'm not 100% doing everything 100% you know I I save a little bit for the next set and the next set and the next set and the four so four sets always four sets and you know you can change it up a little bit if you want to but in the beginning I did sometimes you know three sets but then you know four sets became the thing and you know uh, I simply you know just increase the repetitions but you know I increase uh, my weight so you get heavier and when I get heavier, they, you know, the repetitions decrease again, yet again, you know. You go from 40 and then you're back to 20 and so forth. And as you can see, uh, the sun, you know, I had to take off the shirt. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not doing that. I'm doing that for, I'm, I'm mainly taking off the shirt for uh, vitamin D. We need vitamin D, it's super important. That's why a lot of people are depressed in the winter, seasonal depression, all that stuff. It's not just because of that, but it's heavily influencing that. It's also diet, of course. You can feel the shoulders. All the way. You can do them faster. But you, you always lose some precision when you do it faster, you know. If you do it slowly, you can do perfect form. And don't care about people thinking of you and grimaces and <laughs> or um you know yelling or you know just do whatever you have to do. You know, make sounds, don't care. You can also do closer grip, broader grip, regular grip. You can do all sorts of things. I don't do close grip on this because it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel natural. I sometimes lose, lose count of the repetitions, but it doesn't matter as much. You can do 10 extra if you're, if you're not sure you made those 10 and so forth. It's not a big deal. The important thing is that you're consistent doing it every day or very often. Perhaps, you know, taking a rest Saturday or Sunday. Otherwise, you can do it basically every day. And then I use my watch. One minute rest between sets and two minute rest between variations of each exercise. One more set of these, then I'll be done. You just sleep, fast, exercise, eat. S-F-E-E. -E. That's all you need, all the time. Just keep consistent. These muscles will show. But also, by the way, in the sun, you know, the muscles show more when you have chiaroscuro light, when you have one light source. So that's the secret, you know. And also if you're tanned and if you're oiled up so or sweaty. So that's all of those, you know, pictures when people have these, uh, you know, too, too good to be true pictures, that is what, how they do it. That's the only secret, there is no secret. <clears throat> of course, they train a lot, but, you know, as a natural, you have to train a lot, basically every day. You, you can rest one or two days, but then sometimes some weeks, you just train every day. Feel so energized with the sun, feels great, you know. Feels incredible. Like pure energy getting through you. It's not pure energy, there's no pure anything. It's just a figure of our imagination, but it is beautiful and you know it is uh, that which created us. <laughs> inner fire within you and the inner core within the earth and within you it's the same thing I'm quiet when I train I'm always quiet except when I speak when I'm fired up then I'm not quiet at all silence is not good there is plenty of silence in death as Hitchin said the grave will provide with plenty of silence. Don't keep silent in life. Speak up. Especially speak up if you have something great to say. And I don't care how old you are, young, doesn't matter. A lot of younger people are smarter than older ones. And sometimes older people have some wisdom as well, of course. But you don't take it for granted just because they're old. <laughs> ten more, I think. Then I'll do ten more. Then I'll do I'll do regular push-ups in a different place there. 
in the grass. When you train, you shouldn't listen to music. You shouldn't avoid yourself. You should listen to your inner voice, your inner music. Listen to the music of the birds. And you should, you know, listen to your body to understand if you've got to fix a position, fix, you know, doing it faster, slower, and so forth. Understanding your own body. And you can't do that if you constantly avoid yourself with music and so forth. So that's why I don't listen to music when I train. I don't listen to anything when I train. I only listen to my body, my my own voice. This is a good way of, you know, utilizing your time to think as well. You know, you can think a little bit. You can do this for one hour and think a lot and you know about your concepts, ideas, and so forth. You have all these dreams of yours and so forth, and you'll just improve them as well. You know, all these ideas they get improved as well. And so, like Nietzsche, he all he noticed even in his time you know people have poor digestion in reading everyone wants to read fast entertainment and you know all this nonsense and the same way today like a lot of people talk about these successful people how they read 500 books in two weeks and so forth you know these insane numbers that are impossible you can't understand a book if you try to read it in a fast you know overly fast uh, way some people read a little bit faster, but most people read basically the same. And these people, they can't understand the book, they won't understand the deeper concepts, they haven't digested the book. You see, Nietzsche is already correct, and he was correct in the late 1800s, and it's even worse today. So, you read the greats, that's why I talk about read the greats, you digest the book, you take the book with you, you know, every day, you know, you have it within you, you know, then movies are great like that as well you know art this is when art is the greatest when it takes time it develops within you you know it grows and so forth that's what, what it is like for when you read Dostoevsky that is what it is when you re read Hermann Hesse and that's what it's like when you watch uh, movies by Ingmar Berman and uh, Andrei Tarkovsky and uh, Luis Buñuel and all my favorites in cinema as well so that's what you should do. And, and even in, in music, Beethoven, Bach, and so forth. Diamond push-ups like this. It's really hard now, but otherwise you can do a lot of diamond push-ups as well. That's why I start with diamond push-ups sometimes instead of, you know, the easier. So I go with the harder and then easier and easier. But I switch it around, you know, like I said earlier. Flex your muscles before you train, you know, as a way of, you know, activating your muscles a little bit before you train, as a way of warming up a little bit. You know. Bruce Lee did this. So that's a technique from Bruce Lee. I know some people have mentioned it before, but, you know, you can always mention it again. He's doing basically, you know, he, he liked to change and he liked to do different things and not just stay in one place, you know, always improving himself, always working on himself. That is the way, that is the way. Last thing, running uphill. This is the last thing I'll do today. Fifteen reps. Fifteen reps, four sets, that's it, then I'm done. Alright, so that's it for today. Four variations of push-ups, one variation of running, well, legs, and tomorrow it's focus on legs again, but I will take it easy if I feel like I have to take it easy tomorrow. And then it's upper body again and so forth. But it's full body, it's just that I focus on one, you know, either upper body or lower body. And this is how dirty you should get, perhaps even dirtier when you're in a park. I was thinking of uh, Hitchens and Nietzsche before. You know, when Hitchens also said, don't be silent, always speak up, 
the grave will provide plenty of silence. So especially if you have something to say, speak up. And, you know, don't be silent. I don't trust people who are silent by nature. Nietzsche was the same way. He didn't trust these people. Because, you know, they lack some digestion, as he always says, you know. They lack something within. There is something frustrating within. You know, it's preservation. It's pure preservation. And that's why he was suspicious of people who are silent. So stop being silent and speak up if you have something to say. If you don't have something to say, you know, uh, work on it and then speak up. But digest stuff read stuff read it properly don't philosophize you know on surface level read the primary sources i'm so sick of all these articles and you know it's all nonsense once you read the book instead of the article you will get everything and the article will seem you know all these professors all these empty professors will feel you know surface level that's why i say empty you'll just you'll be greater than them you'll be greater than you know all these professors all these dinosaurs so don't worry about that stuff and just keep on, you know, reading things that matter to you, uh, that matter, matters in life in general, you know, health, uh, everything that has to do with health, health, fitness, business, wealth, relationships, partners, all of that. You read the best of all of that stuff. What I've done today, this is philosophy. This is the best philosophy. This is the only philosophy that matters, your health your life, your experience. You experience life. Your experience in life is the most important thing that exists. Because, you know, without this, there is nothing, you know. There is existence and there is non-existence. There is uh, experience and there is non-experience. So, you either have the, you try to have the best experience or you try to have, you know, the worst experience. So, it's up to us. Most people can't even do these pull-ups. So you, you, you can realize that you're ahead of almost every single person. You got to realize that obesity is, you know, incredible today. It's insane. So what I'm doing should be almost mediocre. But it's not because most people don't do it. So it's not mediocre. Now I'm pushing myself all the time. So imagine the Spartans, you know, imagine being with his, you know, a group of people you feel like family, you know, a community. And you're training together, working together, in war together, all of it. You know, all insecurities, all of that stuff will vanish as well. And also imagine these partners, you know, always outside. We're always in our rooms or, you know, in cubicles or, in, you know, office spaces and all that stuff. That is all, you know, you don't get any resistance. You need the weather. You need everything. You need everything. And as always, by now, you know that I'm always training dry fasted. So I'm still dry fasted. I haven't had any water. We read the greats, we become the greats. We train like the greats, we become the greats. Train like a Spartan, you know, natural movements, natural everything. You know, they understood what they're eating, eating a lot of meat, some fruits here and there. You know, Spartans didn't eat bread. They didn't need all of this nonsense. All they need is protein. All they need is training. That's it. We don't seek mediocrity here. We don't seek mediocrity. We have too much mediocrity in the world. Go against everything. Be contrarian. Go against everything. Find your own way, your own stream, your own path. And that's you, how you become great. By extracting yourself from the mainstream and the contrarians. And yes, that includes me. There is nothing paradoxical. And even if it was paradoxical, it doesn't matter. It's still true. All right, that's it for today.